Good to see you. And yeah, the dragon is still outside and I haven't left in a couple of days. I also have a fake pretend pack leg. Uh, actually, it's a real pretend pack leg or a, a fake pack leg because, well, anyway, this used to be a table leg. I guess it was looking for a new profession. But this will be my next present for the dragon outside. A peck leg might explain why most of his jokes are pretty limp. Aren't we the ones providing comic relief during his videos? Maybe, if you have very low standards. Dominic's famous for his low standards, though. I had a pet leg once. Here we go. I wanted a pet hand, but there's one family that has the monopoly on those. That's capitalism for you. And I paid the dragon to lay waste to Dominic's shop, not inspire him. Remember when the dragon offered you the no questions asked upgrade? Vaguely. You said it wouldn't be necessary. Asking for art is not something you would consider an issue with premeditated shop slaughter by dragon. But I enjoyed the cloth hanger dragon Dominic made recently. Lincoln Corner. You had to shoehorn that in somewhere, didn't you? I also have a shoehorn, but it's not what you think. Look, we know that you are ancient, ancient and amorphous. amorphous. But you are beginning to sound a lot like clickbait. As a matter of fact, I do have a clickbait gland. That has to be the grossest one yet. Put it away, now. Looks like he's going to hollow this piece out. You mean like a self-portrait? Wow. As far as burns go, this wasn't half bad. You sound surprised. That's because we are. I... Touché, I guess. I would have expected you to tell me that I had gone too far. No, Dominic just did. But he fixed it. So he showed us how he removed metal bits from the center section, right? Yes, he did. And now he isn't using the central section. Makes sense to me. I hardly use my middle clans. And as a rule, I prefer them metal free. And that's all I want to hear about the subject. Inclined to agree. Except for the paperclip gland. And there we go again. Look! More wood! Stop! Now, I don't want to get meta or anything, Since but... when? You know, my aim is to create handcrafted epic stories deeply rooted in realism. The kind of realism where people sling spells and hear voices? Yes! While also feeding the algorithm with weekly videos? All hail the algorithm. Seriously? Seriously? Sorry, reflex. Let me guess. Technology overlord obedience clan? Yes. May I? Yes. yes. Great. I've had the idea for this project a while ago and it should have been finished two weeks ago. So now I want to just push it across the finish line, out the door so to speak, so I can use the door of my shop again by getting rid of the dragon. But I also want to show you gravity is still working in my shop. I also want to show you 
two prototypes that I made for this. This was the first one, which has a... I think the dragon body is okay, but it's split. That's probably something I could have fixed by somehow filling this, but frankly I didn't want to bother. The thing I like most about this design, even though I didn't go with it this time, is that you don't have to remove hardly as much material as I'm going to have to make it fit in this way. And you only need to cut two pieces off. That's probably the most advanced prototype I made, but I'm still going to show you the other one. That's the, the middle piece and it's a little more fancy. And here the idea already was to cut this up and add it as wings, but here it would have been a lot harder to attach to these wings. Let's have it. I wonder what happened to that auditor who wanted to audit our cult rating of mildly inconvenient. Did you have to mention them? It was a narrative imperative that someone would eventually... Wow. Uh, what are you hiding behind the curtain for? That's no curtain. That's mold. I am watching you fail utterly at being evil. That's mean. I have been rated much worse. But I did send a dragon to Dominic. Which is why I have not removed you from the roster quite yet. Out of curiosity, what would you rate us currently? Currently? I'd go with barely an inconvenience. <sighs> Where did they go? I'm always watching. After all, I am a storyline. I don't like the sound of that. Not at all. And there we go. I kind of like it, but one thing I don't like is the look of it, the, the surface. I did the finishing on the lathe because it's easy. I did not do any extra sanding because that's hard. There are three ways to fix this and I might go with the third one because it's the easiest. I'm sensing a pattern there. A is to do the dragon thing and scorch it. To hit it with fire till it's blackened and looks the part and make it look intentional. The second is to paint it. Spray paint all over and maybe then some glossy spray lacquer would do nicely for this one. But the third option is to just hang it somewhere where you don't get up too close. Yeah, what else did you expect? Anyway, I will present this to the dragon now. Nice piece. Don't mistake my leaving for an admission of admiration. But there's holidays and I have places to be. I'll be back though. Not what I paid for. That probably went as well as could be expected. So when the dragon comes back, there's only one thing I can do. Try again? Yes, try again. Back then your videos were terrible. Thanks. Also, thank you for watching. And that's the wrong project to hold up. Thank you for watching. And as always, remember to comment inspired down below. And on that note, remember to be inspired.